Hi, I'm Neil Weichel with Remax, and the purpose of this short message is for anybody that's thinking about selling their home, but they're upside down or in a no equity position. We call this in our business a short sale. Now, what is a short sale? A short sale is a situation where the value of the property is less than what is owed on the property. And many people find themselves in this situation these days. In Santa Clarita, about 30% of the homes either have no equity or are actually what we call underwater. So sellers in those situations find themselves in a situation in which they can either bring in money to close or request a short sale. Now here's how a short sale works. You hire a great listing agent that's experienced in this type of a sale. You price the property at market value, and you prepare the property just like you would in any regular sale. In fact, a short sale is a regular sale. You still have to do disclosures. You still have to make the home showable, those types of things. However, where it's different and where it takes time, some people call them long sales, is where we get into a situation in which the bank is going to approve the sale. So here's how it works. You list the property, and the first part is what we call document collection. You have to actually prepare documents that your lender is going to request of you before approving your short sale. Document collection is things like tax returns, pay stubs, a financial worksheet, and most importantly, a letter of explanation as to why you're asking for the short sale. Have you been relocated? Is there less income? Is there a health issue in the family? Perhaps a separation? Those types of things are the things that lenders are looking for. After you have all your documents, your real estate professional will send those in to the bank and begin the process of what's called valuation. That's the second step after document collection. That's where the bank is going to come out and look at the property and appraise it, make sure it's in good condition, and determine what the real market value is. That's why you don't want to underprice your home too much with a short sale because the bank won't approve it. Then, after they've done their valuation, looked at your paperwork, and looked at a potential offer, the third step in a short sale is the negotiation. That's where the bank actually assigns a negotiator that's going to discuss with me, your listing agent, what they're looking for to close the sale. So let's sum it up. You're in a situation in which there's no equity. You have a need or a desire to sell. You market the home with me, just like any other property. We price it properly. We get an offer, and we get all your paperwork together. We send it into the lender. They value the property, and then comes the negotiation. This part can actually go relatively quickly if the first two steps are done properly. So document collection, solicit an offer, have the bank do their valuation, and then do the negotiation. Once an acceptable negotiation is concluded, they give us an approval letter, and we open an escrow just like any other escrow. The buyer does their inspections, they do an appraisal, they put their loan in place, and 30 to 45 days later that we close. If you'd like more detail on this type of sale and how we do them, please feel free to call my office and we'd be happy to answer your questions.